hey guys your girl black forest princess here um with another video a very uh, important video uh welcome to my channel if uh, for those who don't know me is your girl black forest princess here all the way from germany in black forest uh, originally kenyan so um I really welcome you guys to uh, the new subscribers. You're so welcome and thank you for subscribing. And to my subscribers, I'm so appreciative. I love you guys and I want you to know that I'm so appreciative. I see your support, your encouragement. And when I go uh, through the comment section, I'm so amazed by your support and your love. And I'm just so appreciative. So, um, Today's video is about maybe a certain, uh, like so many people have been asking me about au pair. And as you, most of you know, I came to Germany as an au pair and definitely I can, you know, help or maybe give some tips about au pair. And so all those uh, who are asking me about au pair, this video is for you. So I hope it will help you and I hope uh, you will learn one or two things um, here. So welcome, get yourself comfortable I, and I hope let's that just... most of you know what au pair is. So most people really actually don't know what au pair actually is. So um, au pair is a young adult between the age of 18 to 30 depending on uh, which country you want to travel to um so au pair is you know au pair is just a, a program an ex cultural exchange pro program between the au pair and the host family so uh, normally um au pair and the host family are supposed to be like people from different cultures so in that case the exchange of like the cultural exchange comes in so um the thing is uh, uh, if you if if uh, you want to travel to germany there's an age uh, uh, difference so between the age of 18 to i think 24 that is if you want to come to germany and if you want to go to austria there's also age um age um, window like between the age of 18 I think to 26 and if you want to go to Netherlands until I think January they were taking au pairs from the age of 18 up to 30 so until I think March they are only taking up to 25 years so between the age of 18 to 25 years so au pair is you know depending on which country you want to go to like if you want to go to Denmark the, it is the age of between 18 and 30 so and i would advise you guys before you you know you um you come with your questions try and find out what really au pair is because um i'm this one person i can't i won't give you everything i will definitely try but at least try and you know find out uh, uh more about au pair try and um see where you you know where you belong like some people are above 24 years so that means they cannot come to germany or i think austria unless you're so lucky and so if you are the age of 25 to 30 you still have an option to go to um denmark uh, those other countries i think sweden that check the um the age between 26 to 30 so not all hope is lost if you are above 25 just try your chance so what the there are also there are also requirements like for example germany uh, you need the language a german language you need um a one certificate but right now because the competition is so high and that one i'm talking about kenya so right now the competition is so high that you find if you go with your A1 German certificate, uh, they think you're joking. They need like you have to prove you're so interested in that way. I mean, you have to like at least do up to B1 or B2. It's like it's really a competition. 
and uh, sometimes I hear sometimes they even ask if you've gone to a if you have a certificate or diploma in something and yeah it's a competition that is in Kenya they have made it almost difficult to come to Germany but you don't have to come to uh, direct to Germany you can still go through Austria which is I found very um, easier the visa process is a little bit challenging though it's a sure bit like you just have to make sure your papers are uh, in time you make the uh, your visa appointment in time you do everything in time so that because um in Aus the Austrian embassy it's like you know you go for your visa interview all, I think twice yeah and the first one co I think it costed as um 14,000 or 12,000 and then the second one costed uh as 18,000 that was when I was doing for my knees so um try and find like if you if you have your family your host family make sure guys you have uh you know all the requirements like the visa uh, the, the embassy requirement for an au pair visa and the thing is um and also another country uh, netherlands i i found netherlands was very easier it's they do almost for everything for the au pair. So they tell you what to bring to the embassy. And um, we used, there's a Nani, Nani Nina app or website. So um, I'll also give you the websites, guys. So you can go to the websites, um, register or make a, a, a profile there. And then you start your search. So uh, I find Nani Nina easier, I think, yeah. But it is in a way that your pictures have to sell. Like you don't go put on pictures with, you know, your, uh, you have makeup on, you have like, you know, if I'm looking for a nanny or if, or if I'm looking for an au pair, I don't want somebody to, I won't look at pictures like, you know, somebody wearing high heels, uh, like uh, um, full makeup and all that. Just, just put it just, um, natural normal and authentic that sells so um there are also websites you get uh, these host families the best one um i used was opera world this is the best i uh, website it's so good that in a way that that almost there are no scammers there are no scammers and then there's other one called opera.com that one you have to be very careful you, you have to be very careful because there's scammers in opair.com. Opair process is free of charge. You don't have to pay anybody. I see people um, paying agencies in Kenya 4,000 euros, 3,000 euros, 2,000 euros. Guys, that's a lot because the agencies, they're doing the same thing you can do or you could have done in this website. They also go through websites they do not have like you know an agent here that get them a free pass you know no they're going to these websites and they're making they're taking your pictures and putting them there so why don't you do it yourself and um and save that money so there's also um uh rainbow rainbow or pair there are a lot of them just go to google and you know, state, um, just write au pair websites and they'll come. But the main one, uh, au pair world and Nani Nina is right now very good. You just have to make very nice pictures and uh, there's, you can also make an intro, a very uh, short video, I think 20 seconds or 30 seconds, just introducing yourself, your hobbies and what you love. So, um, yeah, I don't know what I can say. This video I'm going, I'm doing it very, it has to be very short. I just want to tell you what really, what you expect in my life today or, um, and your questions like come prepared, do your research. You only 10 minutes is enough for your au pair research. Just do your research and come guys, I will help you. But I'm not promising that I will take 
each one of you, you know, uh, sit down. But um, I will try my best and help you. Au pair is, you know, I always say au pair is like, depending on how your heart is, if you are, how do we say? You have to be prepared because there's some uh, host families that, you know, treat their au pairs like um, a maid. And a maid, I mean like au pair, your job is only to take care of the kid, like nanny, you know. And the families that you will have to be cleaning. Although au pair, you also have to clean because you live there. You have to clean the mess. You belong to the family. And um, just, you know, here and there, just cleaning here and there, maybe putting the clothes in the uh, washing machine, Um if maybe the kids are in kindergarten, you can do one or two things. Yeah, so, and um, what else? Au pair have, uh, they get a pocket money. That is just um, a pocket money. You don't say it's a salary, it's not. And um, depending on which country you are going to or which country you are interested in, you it is um in germany it's two right now it's 280 in in austria and in germany it's 280 because they pay your insurance and they also pay your your um transport like maybe monthly transport they pay your what else is important they take uh, a part of your deutsch uh, course so that's why they get 280 in austria they pay up to 500 euros or if you're lucky up to 700 euros but then you pay your insurance but insurance are very cheap you can get insurance for 50 euros for example you just go for the cheaper insurance because and just keep yourself uh, safe or healthy and what else do they give in Austria? I think you also pay part of your German course. Yeah, that's it. So they pay more. In Netherlands, they pay, um, I think, 350 euros. So this is also good. And some families will give you transport, so monthly ticket, a bus ticket. Or some families will, uh, they'd rather give you 400 euros, but then you take care of your bus ticket. So it's, it's, you know, it's like a game. So depending on how you connect to your family or with your family, it's good. And au pair is only at most one year up to two years. If the family is good, in Germany, it's only one year. And in Austria, it's also one year. In France, it's two years. And in um, Netherlands, it's one year. Depending on which country, in Denmark, is two years. So depending on which country you're in. And normally, guys, don't think that if you sign this contract, this one-year contract, that you have to be there. You have to remain there. You can always change your family. If you're not satisfied with them, you can change to another family. Um, but I think you also have to have a good reason. And changing the family, you have to... There's also the contract um, rules. Like, you can't just leave. You have to, you know, resign and then go to the other family. It's just like a normal job. You know, you, you don't just leave. And what else? Au pair also get um, vacation. I think they have 28 days in a year within that uh, au pair year. And what else do they get? Mm. This video, guys, this video is just random. I'm trying to, you know, and it's very random. But I hope it will help somebody. I know it will help somebody. So, and because I'm still there. So from this video, you can also, um, at the comment section, just ask me anything. I will definitely, um put on another video with all the questions or maybe from our live today, you, I'll try and put all the um, answer, all the questions in a video. So um, I hope it helps somebody. And guys, remember, au pair, 
uh, how do we say, um, it can be fun in a way that, yeah, you're in Europe and then you have this opportunity to, you know, maybe after au pair year, a year, uh, like in Germany, there's so many opportunities you can do. Um, if your German is not good, I prefer you do your volunteer for one year and uh, f like from au pair, you can do volunteer or if you think your German is so good, you can do you can do uh, nursing, you can do all this other, you can study, there are opportunities. So depending, also depending on which country you are in. For example, Netherlands, the opportunities are very limited. And in France, they also have opportunities, but you have to be, you know, uh, bright-minded. Um, Just go out there and, and know people, find things. Au pair doesn't mean now you just sit, sit at home and, you know, take care of the family. No. Um, use the, the year and explore. I, just easy. Just explore. And au pair doesn't mean, also mean, um, because, guys, it's only one year. And one year goes by so fast. You can just persevere. Stay focused. You know exactly what you want. And I also say, depending on which family you're coming from, if you're like me, I was like, oh, I this is an opportunity. I'll try and use it, you know, because I brought myself to Germany. I didn't have a parent to, you know, help me go through these all these processes. I did them myself. So, um, and through that struggle, I was like, no, I have to, you know, I will try. It was an opportunity, and that's why we are here today. So when you come to Europe, and I hope somebody out there will get help or will get uh, uh, come to Germany as a pair. And that also, guys, somebody was asking me, um, what, what's, like, uh, what can I advise the people who are over 40 years you? A 40-year-old can also come with a volunteer to Germany. But the thing is, you have to learn German up to C, C level. And in Kenya, it really costs a lot. Because right now in uh, Gote Institute, I think almost 40K for just one level. That is A1. And then there are also exams. You have to pay, I think, almost 15,000, 15K. So you have to be prepared and... um yeah, but what what can you say? Lose money to get money or uh, just try your luck. Not all hope is gone. But then you can or you don't even have to. But I would advise you just do the German course. Because some people would, if you're sure you, you can come through Austria. Austria is the easiest if you want to come through Germany. Just do your German a1 they only need a1 level the first the beginners level and uh, they need the gote institute certificate even in germany they need the gote institute certificate you can learn your german in any other school because gote institute is very expensive so learn your german in any other cheap school or you can even go to the internet to youtube there's so many videos and learn german and then book your exams if you fail, just try again until you pass, you know, and and try and look for videos in YouTube. There's so many, there's so many German beginners. Uh, let's learn German with Laura. There's a lady called Laura. Let's learn German with Laura. She's really good. And learn your German and come. And if you're going to Netherlands, I advise you to just try and uh, you know learn your A levels the the um the level the the, the um, how do you say the beginners level the A1 and then you can come to Germany that's what I say so um I don't want to talk a lot I hope I said almost a lot or, or almost everything but we'll definitely make another video and, you know, the requirements. So requ I, I, let me say the requirements just quick. You need uh, to Germany, you need your Form 4 certificates. I think everywhere you need your high school uh, diploma. 
you need your certificate nobody asks you which level or which uh, uh, grade uh, which grades you achieved no you only have your high school certificates and yeah and then you start your process and then i'll show you guys how you get in this website i'll make a video you know how uh, explaining each and every website the ones i trust like opera world and nani nina it's now called nina care it's really good it's from uh, netherlands it's so good and also opera.com but opera.com you have to be very careful you have to be, be very careful because there's so many scammers there somebody asks you for money but these things are free 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 opera you don't pay anything if at all somebody has to pay, it's the uh, the guest family, the host family, that the ones who are supposed to pay the agency or maybe in Opera World, the contract. There's a contract in Opera World in, and it's not even very expensive. It's, it costs, I think, 30 euros for them. So I hope uh, we will, most of you will come to my live today and we're going to learn something. So guys, I hope this video helps you and I hope to see you in my next video or in, um, in my live today. And I hope I'll upload this video before the live starts. I love you guys and um, I wish you all the best. I love you and I really appreciate you. I really appreciate you. And Team D. Thank you very much. D, thank you. <laughs> Team D to the core. Thank you very much, guys. I love you and God bless you all. Until next time, bye-bye. I love you guys.